I feel like in order for you to get good at writing code with AI, you need to actually build something with these tools in order to understand what all of the pieces are and how all, they all fit together. And if you build like a small little application, I think it will give you a good idea of like token counting, pricing, context, mm. prompting, the different models that are out there, streaming text versus not. I think one of the biggest things that I can suggest to people is to explore. I do think that if you're the type of person sitting on the sidelines and saying, I don't need that stuff, you need to explore your curiosity a little bit. If you leave the word AI out of it, and I were to tell you as a developer that you could build something that detected a smile and took a screenshot when there was a smile, or I could build something that, you know, did this or that really fascinating thing, like generated in an image or something like that. If you leave the entire big AI a scary cloud out of it for some people. Just call it machine learning. It sounds so Just, much more scientific and sick. Is that not exciting? That is exciting <laughs> that you can build that kind of stuff. And and like yeah. you would have told me five years ago, 10 years ago, that I'd be able to build some of this stuff or do some of this stuff. I would have been like, that is incredible. There's so many neat things I want to do with these ideas.